Falador is this guy's name? Oh my gosh, wait, what? Hang on, what are you wearing? How? Well, Paul, I will tell you. Better, I will show you. Hello, hello, this is Buzz, and welcome to my supreme One Chunk Iron Man. The basic concept for all One Chunk at a Time Iron Man is that you're allowed to only play within a single chunk until you've quote unquote completed that chunk. Most people have different requirements and exceptions since there is no official RuneScape game mode yet. What's a chunk? Well, a chunk is a 64 by 64 block of tiles that divides up the RuneScape map. My specific requirements are based off of Limpwort's Extreme One Chunk Iron Man series. A link can be found in the description. But I have a couple additions. Number one, all available prayers must be unlocked. Number two, the best spells for your available runes must be cast. The normal chunk rules require the lowest level spell for your runes, so it only makes sense that taking it up to the next notch would be requiring the highest level spell for your runes. Number three, all drop tables from all NPCs must be obtained. Same monsters with varying combat levels, but same drop tables count as just one monster. If monsters of varying combat levels have different drops or quantities, they all have to be obtained. This is only necessary upon first encounter with that monster across all available chunks. Number four, all available pets must be obtained. If you don't get the pets when they're first available to you, there's never really a good time to add it to your list of requirements. So you may be wondering, why would anyone do that to themselves? That sounds horrible. Well, seeing how much you can get done with so very little makes everything so much more special. It also makes me feel good about myself, but I, I suppose that's my problem. I also work a full-time job and have a, a wife and two kids, so this is kind of my escape and I find joy in it, so don't question it too much. Just watch the video. I have chosen my starting chunk to be chunk 11828, otherwise known as West Falador. There's a lot of good grinds all around me, but getting out of this chunk won't be a walk in the Falador Park either. To escape, I must obtain and wield an adamant mace, I must teleport to Falador for the Fally Medium Diary. The magic level requirement is a little bit fuzzy right now. With the runes available in the chunk, I'll need to cast Entangle, which takes level 79. If I get death runes from a random event, which is very expected, I'll need to cast Teleblock with 85 magic. If I also manage to get soul runes from essence implings before leaving the chunk, I'll also have to cast Tell the Other Camelot with 90 magic. I'll need to thieve a guard, cook pita bread. This man said had to do chickens for 58 cooking. Cut magic logs, burn magic logs, obtain triple magic roots for the Fowley Elite Diary with 91 farming. This man said triple magic roots. Buy an ornate gravestone from death. Get a haircut for the easy diary. Fill a bucket for the easy diary. Kill a duck for the easy diary. Obtain all white knight drops. Obtain all chicken drops. Obtain all drunk man drops. Obtain all imp drops. Obtain all guard drops. And obtain all duck and gardener drops, which is none. You may be asking, how will you train farming to 91? Well, raking. And bird's nests. Uh, it'll take a long time, <laughs> so I'm expecting some additional requirements to be unlocked because of my lamping goals. My first lamping goal is 2700 to barehand baby implings. This will give me access to a knife, which will unlock an 87 fletching grind for the magic shield, a 40 defense grind to wear the magic shield, and a 50 range grind for the magic bow. That will also give me a way to train Hunter, but I won't be required to catch all of the implings and fill out all the impling drop tables until I have Puro Puro unlocked. But now that I can train Hunter, I can catch young implings, which is huge for this account. I can get a steel axe, which will massively speed up the rate that I get birds nests, as opposed to my bronze axe, and I can get a garden pie, 
<laughs> which will shave off three levels I have to get. So I just have to get 88 farming. I can also train up to Essence Simplings for runes, which if I have to go to 90 magic, that might be a really good source of runes. I also will unlock seaweed and buckets of sand uh, from Earth Implings and Baby Implings, so I can start crafting, which will unlock a 43 crafting grind to cut a diamond, assuming I get one from a random, which I should. I also plan to lamp 15 smithing to smelt iron from guards. If I get coal and mithril from randoms, which is very likely, I'll need 50 smithing to smelt that in the furnace. If I get coal from randoms and I get adamant ore from eclectic implings, then I'll have to get up to 70 smithing to smelt that in the furnace. I also plan to lamp 16 construction. Most people don't know, but that's the requirement to get a crest assigned to you. And then that will unlock a 70 prayer requirement for the Saradomen symbol for the Fally Hard Diary. And yes, you did hear that right earlier. I'm currently planning on going for all the skilling pets. This includes, in this chunk, Rocky, that includes the Beaver, and that includes the Tangle Root. Right now those are all in the picture, but we'll see what happens. I really don't want to change it, but we'll see. And I know that if I don't bring it up now, I'll get lots of questions. So there is this molehill inside Valador Park, which unfortunately you cannot go in there until you have a light source. You can't even try. So mole will be backlogged. The pet and all the other drops will be backlogged until we have a light source. And then there's also this fellow and he has a nifty cape, but we can teleport to our house and we can teleport back, but we do not have a saw to train nor access to any level 1 training methods, so that will be another thing that we backlog to return to later. Before we get too far, I'd just like to apologize for some of the mobile clips in here. Sometimes exciting stuff happens on mobile. What can you do? Also, if you couldn't tell already, I don't really know how to edit. <laughs> so the rest of this video will be an adventure for all of us. Uh, I wasn't really planning on making a YouTube series about this account, uh, but so many people kept asking if I had a channel and the account just started getting so interesting. I figured starting late is better than never starting. Um, so if there's any missing levels, I must have gotten them on mobile. A few other notable screenshots from before I started recording and this is one of them um, in here I, I managed to complete my first casket I got an earth staff which is very rune efficient it only takes one air rune I also accidentally stepped out of that north boundary while chopping trees and unlocked some music tracks I completed a second beginner clue and I wish I hadn't and I completed a third one in which I got another earth staff uh, a new best in slot helmet and some new fashion scape slippers to dominate the mole even though I can't get to him yet. I also managed to finish an easy clue which has a better chance of getting a black axe but uh, just got this instead. So this is where the account sits right now. I'll answer any questions if you have about how I got here. Um, the fishing came from all evil bob randoms, and the farming has all been from raking and then a couple oak trees. Um, I started by just chopping right out the gate, but realized quickly after some math that it's going to be well worth investing in getting a better axe for more successful woodcutting ticks for faster seed nests. Uh, there are two 
ways to get a better axe in this chunk. There's implings and there's clues. And since I have no control over hunting at this point, I just started killing the drunken man to train up and juggle some beginner clues. And that's that's pretty much all I've done. So here's a look quick look at my bank. Uh, I've got some money here, mostly from the man. Lots of random event stuff. Uh, not an orderly kind of guy. I did get this mithril scimitar up here uh, on my, I think, one or, either my first or second mystery box. I've just been collecting them. Um, some other stuff, some herbs, uh, all from the drunken man. Um, quite a few. <laughs> uh, then we have our runes and our seeds and our drunken man drops. Uh, getting quite a bit quite a bit of stuff here. Um, it's fun seeing these little collections of items nobody cares about. Uh, so let's uh, keep at it. Here's my last housekeeping item. Uh, here's my song list. Uh, it shows I haven't been a bad boy and gone where I'm not supposed to. Pause it if you want. So the goal right now is to spoon a steel axe from a beginner clue. Um, you can also get black axes from beginner clues, uh, but it's a little bit less likely. So if you've seen clue juggling from Limpwort's video in Lumbridge, it's a little bit harder here because there's only one drunken man spawn and it's 15 seconds between each spawn. So it takes a long time to get beginner clues at a rate of 1 out of 90. And there are only two doable steps as opposed to the three in Lumbridge. So this adds up to much f less frequent beginner clue completions. There's still a handful of easy steps in this area, but there's still only one drunken man, which will drop an easy clue. So it's still slow going on, on both fronts, but, but here's where the progress starts. And with this lamp, we'll get the first level, well, new level of our episode, uh, slowly getting towards 27. Okay, so here is my first beginner clue casket that I'm recording. Uh, I've already done three of these, and uh, I did get the mole slippers from uh, my second or third, I don't remember. Um, but here we go, I got this at work today, and it, I've been uh, blue balled waiting for, to open it. So what we really want, we want either an air staff, because um, I get plenty of mind runes from the drunken man, but no air runes. Um, or, of course, obviously, we really want the Black Axe or the Steel Axe. But we will see what Jagex thinks about it. So, okay, here we go. One, two, three. Hmm. Not the greatest. But better than whatever I have right now, so... Not sure it was worth the two two weeks wait, but uh, we'll we'll work towards another one. And there is 60 hit points. Uh, that brings us to 75 combat level. We're we're getting up there. And there is 60 defense. We will now be able to wear dragon. Uh, two twos and and all that eventually someday and uh, I also pulled a sneaky on ya because there's 34 farming as well I'll get to do something someday not today all right here we go oh that's not good <laughs> oh that is one chunk away. Oh, unlucky. I would just like to take a brief moment to let you know that sometimes when you kill things, you don't get things, even bones. But, uh, eh, $11, crab emoji. And there is 35 farming from raking. Good luck. Oh. <laughs> oh man. Thanks. I'm gonna pretend like this is the right amount, but 
da da we now have a white cash stack. Totally didn't miss it before. Hey. I do have an attempt here at an easy blue scroll. That's one. And uh that's two. Anyway, another one out of three failed. Oof. Okay, so we have another attempt here finally. Not a one step. Not a back to back. Right. Here we go. <laughs> oh, it's a tragedy. Oh well, better luck next time, I guess. So I was finally able to complete another beginner clue. Uh, it took uh, a good while, about about a month and a week, but, uh, but we finally got it. And inside we find some lovely leather van braces. I suppose that's a new best in slot, didn't have any gloves, but eh, I'll take it. Oh, no, it's a three step. And with this clue, it is in fact the sixth failed easy attempt in a row. That sucks. You do love to see it, but sometimes you don't like to see it. Forty thieving, we can now pickpocket city guards. Which, that is one of the few things in this chunk. City guards. Um, so we will first try, finish a medium task. So that's one accomplishment from the, ta uh, from the, the chunk gone. Chunk gone. <laughs> um, I was just trying to do this in between my, uh, my drunken man runs uh, to make full Fully take advantage of the natural hit point regeneration, so so we can get the the large cash stack over time, and um, and we can also pickpocket guards for Rocky instead of this poor man that's already been abused enough. So we keep going, and with this kill, we finally get 73 strength. And with that comes 600 total level. We are really getting strong. And as to be expected by this point, here we are with the seventh easy fail in a row. I've been doing two steps, so that's a 33% chance of a completion. Uh, we're just rolling low on these ones. Not sure what to say. But hey, everybody, look at the bright side. We're wasting a lot of time. 13 Hunter, woo! 38 Farming. And now we're gonna check, oh man. Uh, yeah, okay. Eight failure in a row. Getting a little demotivating. <laughs> uh, keep trying, I guess. Well, it's not an easy fail. But it still kind of hurts. Just a little. So here's a bit of a different clip. Uh, there is 60 prayer. Uh, that's chivalry entirely from normal bones. And uh, we're getting getting up there, getting closer to that 70 we'll eventually need for the, the Sardom and Crest. So as you may have noticed, spooning a better axe has not worked out so well for me. Uh, so I'm gonna take a break. Uh, I'm gonna do the chicken grind now. <laughs> Gotta get 58 cooking for pita bread. Um, that won't be an easy task. And what makes this game unplayable, the only thing, is that when you cook chicken and then you get a level or something and you have more chicken to cook, when you click on the range, the default is to burn the chicken, not cook the rest of your chicken. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing with my life.
I've been thieving guards when my HP fully regens, and I have 50 thieving to show for it. So, cool. And there's 40 cooking. And before I get any questions, I unlock dungeon soundtrack in Death's Office, not Tackerly Dungeon. In case you didn't know, chickens can drop beginner clues. <laughs> so I got a doable step, and now I just got another one from the drunken man. Let's see if we get a clue. Casket. Yes! <laughs> it has been two weeks since I got a clue casket. Okay, let's see what's in this puppy. Ah, yes. Um, uh, do your beginners, boys and girls. Do your beginners. There's 52 cooking. Someday a botanical pie. But today, chicken. Fifteen hunter. And here comes 75 strength. Getting strong. That gets us up to 83 combat. Oof. Big boy. 55 cooking. Just a couple more levels, but many more chickens. There's 61 prayer, which gets us closer to 70, and that's, uh, that's about it. So, cheers. 58 thieving, no pet, never lucky. And there are the beekeeper boots, which are the last random event item. You can see in the collection log that I just need the stale baguette, which I'll probably get when I open with my mystery boxes when I have my ring of wealth eventually. But still, cool. One more level. Holy smokes. I, I just got Rocky on mobile at 58 thieving. <laughs> wow, that is so lucky. <laughs> And I, I was just thinking it would be so good to get spooned on Rocky because getting getting food in this chunk is so hard. <laughs> I mean, I, I would rather be, be spooned to Tangle Root, but I mean, <laughs> I cannot complain about Rocky here. Look at him. <laughs> wow. Maybe I can get all the pets. <laughs> Maybe it's false hope, but, uh, well, let's just see how it plays out. We put the water in our mud pie with the clay on. We got the clay from an imp. Then we cook it, and yay, 58 cooking, which means we can make pita bread, and that is one of the skills challenges um, for this chunk. So we've made the pita dough, and we made the pita bread. Easy peasy. Now to use our mud pie in combat, which I'm assuming I can't use on one of these guys, right? It's only other players. Oh. oh. That's interesting. It didn't uh, start attacking me. Well, I guess we used our mud pie too, so. Let's find out what we're going to do now. A quick 50 fire making while I was thinking. Got a quick clean 60 thieving. Okay, I've made my decision. I'm going to go for uh, all the drops from the drunken man. I've killed this guy about 60,000 times already, so <laughs> I've probably gotten everything. Uh, but just for completionist's sake, and just for something to do right now while I wait for experience randoms, I'm gonna kill this guy a lot more. And I'll make sure I get everything, so onward!
There's not really a good way to prove that I got the nothing drop, but I assure you, I documented many nothing drops. So now that we've gotten all of the drunken man drops recorded this time, other than the medium key, which we'll get later, I'll be planning to move on to probably the guard drop table next. They've got some rare seeds like snape grass and watermelon seeds. Uh, they also drop air runes so we can start magic and medium clues for the chicken key and the drunken man key. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving, so I'll probably just be woodcutting these next couple clips, but then onto the guards. Yes, I did just do finger guns at nobody. Bada bing, bada boom, 40 farming. Scooby, scooby doo, 70 woodcutting. So I'm starting on guards now. I'm going to wait until I have all the drops before I show like the, all the screenshots. But here is 76 strength, first level of the grind. Here's a cheeky 70 fire making. Check out Foe on Twitch if you like Iron Man content. So during this guard grind, I've been slowly accumulating some air runes, and I was I was hoping to save them up, but uh, I realized that I could get some really easy total levels right now, which will help me get better maze random loots. So I'm gonna use some, and I'll, I'll use them as I get them. So don't expect a big pile of air runes after all these guards. So let's go. Here is 17 Hunter with this lamp. That would be the level that we could stop at if we had a butterfly net and some jars, but we continue. 10 more levels. Here comes 75 Fire Making. That gives us the level to burn magic logs once we get them from either uh, nature implings or magic trees uh, that we grow. So whichever of those comes first, but. Good to have the level ready. Isn't that just the most beautiful willow tree? Here's 42 farming. As a side note, I don't have access to any secateurs in this chunk, so if I see them diseased, I can't prune them. Just have to watch them die. Sad. Here's 69 HP. Night and day difference from 68. all the drops. The, the question mark by the bronze arrows is because I got a drop of two bronze arrows, which wasn't on the wiki. I talked to some of the guys over there and they added it. So to those of you that have been living it up now that you know where to get two bronze arrows, uh, you're welcome. Anyway, I also managed to get the clue step for the key from the chickens, so I can finish their drop table whenever I feel like grinding out another beginner clue drop decided to go back to the guard to try to finish up that last drunken man key. We'll see how long it takes, but I'm, I'm ready for a lot of kills. <laughs> here's, here's the first level of the grind. 78 strength. Any more to come, probably. I didn't get the pop-up, but there's 70 hit points. I think that's what Zamorak God wears? Something like that someday. I realized that I'm gonna go through my chicken stack really fast, so I'm going to try to go for the steel plate body from Quizmaster Random Event Mystery Boxes. I'm using a free to play world for the 1 in 6 chance instead of the 1 in 15 chance on members worlds. Let's see how many it takes. It looks like it took us 8 mystery boxes for the steel plate. Finally some stats on the plate body slot. Feeling good. You know how to read. It's a 62 prayer, boys and girls. Okay, I'm not recording every magic level, but this one's kind of special because it gave us 750 total level without having ever left this chunk, which is pretty crazy, honestly. And I just perfectly ran out of my air runes as well, which is also pretty cool, but uh, kind of shadowed. 
Okay, so I talked myself into opening uh, four of these in members just to say I had a bit of a chance, had a better rune weapon before I finish all these kills. So uh, let's see what we get here. All right, body rune. <laughs> Easy clue. Can't do it. A flyer and an onion. That onion might be interesting. I'll have to have to check on that, but it's not a rune onion, so not too interesting. So I got the medium clue step that requires you to kill an Ardone guard for a key. I'm just going to make sure that I don't get one from these guards. And I don't. I don't know if that's good or bad, but now you know. You don't. So here's a big one. Here's 80 strength. Wow, I'm gonna I'm gonna start balancing out my other stats, starting with attack. With this book, we get 18 hunter. Only nine more levels to go. Here comes 65 attack. These levels are much faster, so we are breezing through them. I just missed it, but there's 63 prayer. That's officially halfway to 70. All from normal bones. Very cool. There's 70 attack. Brings us to 777. Cool. 19 hunter, so that's just uh, math is hard. Eight levels till we can bare hand some babies. So, some baby implants. I suppose I've been on a bit of a hot streak with these randoms. Uh, here's 20 hunter as well. Seven levels. I'm really bad at catching the level, but there's 65 defense, and that gives us 91 combat. We are <laughs> very strong. Alright, 74 hit points. We're healthier! Ah, missed it again, but there's 70 defense. Wow, still don't have the clue step, but I do have base 70 melees, so take what you get, I guess. So here is 37 magic from all the air runes from guards. That's the level to cast teleport to Falador. I just need a couple water runes, then we can get that medium achievement diary out of the way. 75 HP, missed it as usual. Getting close to 800. I think we just hit 93. So, cool. Here's 64 prayer, almost 800. Getting closer to 70, and I'm not sure what I'm doing right now. That's interesting. Here is 73 defense and 800 total. 75 defense. We can now wear the Vissi if we had one. Yep, I think I'm going to get it to 80 and then and level out the attack. But we'll, we'll see how long this uh, takes to get this step. So I actually got two doable steps, and I've tried for a third, but it's just not in the cards, so we'll see if we can get it. It will require a back-to-back -back step, which is very unlikely, so uh, let's see. And as expected, never lucky. 43 farming, yay! Great. I'd also like to just take a moment to say, whose idea was this? Got another genie, straight on hunter, 21. So as you can see in the chat box, I just got my water runes, uh, which I was missing earlier. So now I can finally complete the, um, the achievement diary step to teleport. And I don't know which of these it is, but we will Thoroughly really enjoy this. Huh, didn't go off. Well, there's the task. Uh, I think it's actually a real night plugin. Uh, anyway, <laughs> there it is. Um, mark that off the list. Still a lot to go though, but progress. Here is 65 prayer. Still no drunken man key step. I was waiting for this level for so long and I still missed it, but there is 80 defense. Time to switch to attack. 
I'm running out of things to say, but 78 hit points. 43 magic. That gives us super heat item, which will actually be quite important for this account. Um, as we'll have to superheat about 8,000 iron ore <laughs> uh, to get to 50, uh, 50 smithing. So we'll make good use of that spell. So just thought I'd show it. So here's 75 attack for the god swords we'll get someday, obviously. And then I also got over 10 million total experience, which is pretty nifty. 79 hit points in the chat box because I missed the level. I take a second to chop down a couple trees and we get a lamp that's 22 hunter which is young implings if we had a net and a jar. Wow. There's the uh, <laughs> the next level already. That was very fast. Um, that's 23. Hunter. Getting closer and closer. Four more levels. And there we have over 500k, which means we can now get that money crest someday. Cool. And planting this oak sapling gets us 44 farming. We're now one level away from using our maple seeds. Yay! Today I've surpassed 1,000 play hours on the chunk account. To commemorate this milestone, I'll change my name to something a little bit less unintentionally Canadian. What's happening? Help! I can't stop! Ah! 80 hit points coming on in. And there's 80 attack. And that's a big level because we leveled out all of our melee stats here and our HP. It just looks so clean. Oh my goodness, that is that is a sight. And to make it even better. We hit 100 combat. Wow, that's beautiful. Maybe I should just retire from combat, but against my better judgment, I will continue strength now. But that will have to wait until next time. Uh, for now, I'm just going to wrap it up with a little glance at the bank here. We're sitting at 525k cash. Uh, we're well over halfway done with our cooked chickens. Uh, got some oak logs there. There's all of our herbs that we got from the drunken man in total. Um, that's where our runes are sitting. A lot of earth talismans, over a thousand body talismans. Um, we almost have 400 iron ore <laughs> exclusively from guards. That's kind of cool. Um, steel arrows, all from guards as well. Um, all these bronze arrows, most of them are from the drunken man, but some of them from guards. Here's the seeds we have for when we, when we want to grow <laughs> a lot of potatoes. Uh, anything else notable here? There's a lot of weeds here, and for some reason, they're worth a bit of money. Let's see. Here's the the clue scroll ish. No, sorry. <laughs> Random event kind of tab. Um, I keep everything, even spinach rolls. Um, anything to note here? All these iron arrows are really nice from the maze. They're the only way I can get them. Um, 11 stale baguettes. It's pretty crazy luck, honestly. Um, yeah. And nothing interesting down there. So, let's look at the bank before we wrap it up. Wow, oh, wow. I hadn't even looked at my nature runes. It's kind of crazy. Alright. Buzz, take it to the outro. Thanks, Buzz. What better place to end it than here where it all began? Maybe at the breaking patch, the tree patch. I didn't know at the time that I made this account, but there is another Falador One Chunk account with a YouTube channel, Bowser. He has some more lenient rules, so you should all check him out if you'd like to see more frequent chunk rolls around this area. A link to his channel can be found in the description. 
I can't promise a great time frame for new videos, what with real life and the nature of this kind of account, so make sure to subscribe to be notified of my next progress video. I'm having a blast playing this account, easily the most fun I've had in my 15 year RuneScape career. I'll usually be hanging out on world 377 if anyone ever wants to come and say hi, but for now, buzz out, smell you later.